What up brothers, it's Club King returning for quite a special review tonight on the figure you can see in front of you. As you see, it's the Iron Man 3 Tony Stark, the mechanic version. Just got him set up in a uh, vanilla style pose first off. Anybody who watched the, uh, the making of this video last night, you will know everything I'm about to say. The guys who didn't watch that, I'll basically to explain it to you and to show you. On Monday night, I did a Google Hangout and that's me filming me and filming this review just to show you what goes into making a Clipper King review so that's happening this is going to be a standard review but like I say I'm pretty much thinking that I'm smart enough to do two things at once there might be a few women who'll tell me different but I think I can pull it off so this is going to be a standard review about half an hour long the seven categories marked up shout outs anything else i might throw you a few jokes and i don't know yet i don't know if i've got any gem gems in these pockets to lay you down but like i say i'm doing two things at once so i might include you but i might expect you to go back and watch the behind the scenes after so that explains what's happening secondly i'd like to say a massive shout out to a good friend of mine wyman shin top uk seller around as most people will know he brought me this figure up from Nottingham about fucking hell four weeks ago, I would think. Um, it took back the uh, Fight Club figures that I reviewed. The uh, reviewer that is on my channel, please go back and have a look. And he got this in the boot of his car. Got a lovely big BMW he has. He's rolling large, old Uncle Wyman. Wyman clothes, I like to call him because when he comes, he brings me gifts. I love all like that. He says, uh, Uncle Rick Meister, I've got a cheeky little bit of something in boot. Do you want to have a look? I'm like, of course I want to have a look, Uncle Wyman. What we got? So I've only got a Tony Stark mechanic. I'm like, what are you doing with that? He's saying, well, to be honest, he says, when it got delivered, it come, on, come through docks, through customs, and he says, and somebody's gone through my pallet with a forklift truck. Now, that's the bullshit he told me. I personally know that what really happened is Maggie were packing these boxes in his lab back in Nottingham, sending these figures out. Walked in one day like, Maggie, come on, speed it up, Flower. You're going a little bit too slow. Wyman don't talk like that. Let me just assure you, he don't, he don't talk like a Yorkshireman. But in my mind, he does. He's like, Maggie, come on, fucking crack on now, Flower. I've made your cups of tea you wanted. You've had your breakfast and you're not working fast enough. So what she did, yeah, she fucking turned around, went to fucking roundhouse kick him to chops, and what he did, he held one of these boxes up. So that, you can see it shape of it, because it's like an horseshoe. I think that's impact to where Maggie's fucking right foot kicked the fuck out of it. So um, he's told me it's a forklift truck. I've been driving forklift trucks for fucking longer than I can care to remember, and that is not a forklift truck. So Uncle Wyman, yeah, you can bring your figures up all you want, but don't lie to me. I know a forklift truck hole when I see one. That's a fucking heel kick, so don't bullshit me, brother. Anyway, <laughs> it probably were a forklift truck, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> without saying too much more, I got the figure. I think I actually got it before some of the guys who bought it from him, which uh, sometimes I feel a little bit sad for them, but on the other hand, I'm not going to turn down a figure when Wyman's passing it me hand to hand, so... I put it out and basically what I would say is it just goes to show that when Wyman does receive his figures he does meticulously go through and sort of he checks the figures he's getting he's not just going to pass that on to somebody not to ship it to some fucking arsehole in Manchester and be like there you go and then that lad's like Wyman my box is fucked pal and be like oh I didn't know fucking course he know he checked them so yeah he don't do that Wyman what he did is the one he'd ordered for himself he shipped that one out and he kept this one Either for yourself to display it or to uh, to lend me to review it or to use for spares if any of the others were broke. So that is basically how I come by it. Uh, like I say, I hope Wyman just does come out and says, you're right, how did you know? You saw through me, didn't you? You, you saw through me like a thin cloth because that is exactly what happened. I'm like, all right, we'll keep it between us, Wyman. Basically, your last kicks fuck out, yeah. But um, anyway, massive shout out to him. Right, let's get into this review because we're going fucking nowhere fast here. I'll just say, before I do, what that pose, guys on, uh, on Google Hangouts saw me do it. I've got to say, I've got that looking natural as fuck. And you ain't got to put into your comment. Tomorrow when you see this review, yeah, don't put in your comments that first pose was beautiful and looked natural. You don't need to tell me that because I fucking know it already, my friends. Oh, hold on. Hold on a minute. That fucking hood's not sitting down flush like a real hood would. Well, not happy about that. Can you see what I mean? <sighs> I have to mark it down when I get to outfit. Nah, 
it's looking beautiful but like i said let's roll on and get some scores on the doors because i'm five minutes in and i'm waffling right source material as you all know and i know you're all not that thick you watch these films then you bang on about them for the next fucking nine months after i'm still seeing ale hydra every time i put facebook on ale hydra i said fuck hydra i'm sick of fucking hearing it but like i said you all know which film this comes from iron man 3 uh pretty got it uh, got pretty mixed reviews when it came out i will say i liked it and i did like the the trevor twist i know a lot of other guys didn't thought it weren't weren't close enough to the comics but i think from my point of view if you want them to stick to comics then fucking read comics if you want to see a film adaptation then watch it and shut the fuck up that's basically what i think i like the twist it not been done before and i just thought it was something a little bit special what did piss me off with the film were the remote control iron man because it removes the jeopardy for it you don't feel for tony no more if he's not inside the suit and basically if that's the case it could pretty much give that suit to any fucking online gamer get it to a 12 year old kid and it'd be a better iron man than if tony were inside it because you'll know them young kids have got fucking reflexes like cats so that i didn't like that side about it i think he should always be wearing the suit but that was just my thoughts story wise they could have included the other suits a little bit more uh i did quite like the scenes with the kids sort of the middle scenes sort of around the scenes where that cowboy outfit come out that looks gay as fuck if you pick that version over this you've done a wrong one um but yeah the film all in all like i said i never give five for a, a superhero film normally if it's a really good one like the dark knight or the avengers i thought the avengers were really good i would give them a four this one sort of weren't there but it weren't it weren't on the shit part of the scale so i wouldn't get a 201 so i'm pretty much going straight down the line giving it a three out of five for source material rolling straight onto the box because there's not really much to talk about over the fact that it's fucked i do take into account the fact that it's damaged because if i were to receive that i'd be fucking i'd be ready for throttling someday uh, but like i said when it's a free bit of review it don't bother me one fucking little bit so i'm basically just going to tell you about the design the design is a shot of the figure wearing the shades as you can see it is really good and i will say from the picture with the shades on it does make the sculpt look really good i wish it was just a little bit clearer or more of a pose but it's not other than that the sides and the inlay of the box is nothing special it's just a typical shoe shoe box style octoid box materials fucking poor i would say so I don't know, there's not much I can say. I would normally give something like that a three, but because of the condition, I'm giving it a one anyway. And what I would say is, the basketball figures I've received recently are all better material than Octoys are using at the moment, aside from the DX boxes. But, uh, yeah. So I have given it only a one out of five because it's fucked. If it was standard, I would have given it a three or a two. I don't know. But, like I said, we're now get a reposed up, put a cut in here, and we'll roll on to the likeness. Right, rolling on to likeness, and I think this must be everybody's favourite category. It might be mine tonight, because I think I've found a cheeky little pose that I think might satisfy. I will say I'm going to show you the options, sort of, to complement the uh, likeness of this figure. So, uh, hood up, glasses on, and then obviously hood down, but with glasses on, and then clean sculpt, so to think. So, well, it's not clean because it's bow damaged, but to uh, just show you the looks you can get with this figure and also that'll give you pose ideas and it'll also give you like um, a display idea the options you get right first while i'll give you a bit of scan back action and show you the pose i've come up with tell you what's going through my mind you can see he's got the sort of electrocution mitt on he's got his uzi nice and tight to him and he's got his feet rotated if he's still in stealth mode Urban ninja shit going on here, boys. Kind of like fucking Assassin's Creed for the ages. Tony's gone all fucking Ezio on us. Look at that. I'm going to show you around here because I think you deserve it, boys. You stuck with me through fucking good times and bad and you deserve what I'm showing you. That looks beautiful. I've got to say, when I wrote the scores out, and like I said, you'll see that on the behind-the-scenes review, I'd sort of mark this uh, likeness up and I'm going to try and make my point clear because I think in certain situations it's better than others. But look at that. Just look at it. 
Fine, let's have a minute silence. We'll have, let's have five seconds silence and just drink this in. You ready? Ready? Go. Oh, that was six seconds. I've tricked you. Don't worry. But yeah. Right. I'll start off by saying that I've given the likeness or facial likeness, I've given it a four out of five. That's basically because when I check in the figure over, I'd got him just with a scope showing. I saw on the box it looked pretty cool with the like Ray-Ban style glasses on. They're kind of like aviator glasses, but a more modern look kind of thing. Quite nice glasses, made really well. I'll cover that on the uh, extras. But what it does to the face, it really complements it. Hood up, looks pretty good, it's pretty natural. It sort of fits the head correctly. Um, so I do like that look. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you now. I'm going to go from that shot. We'll take his hood down. In fact, no need for a fade at the minute. Let's just peel her down just so we can see. Don't fall out of that pose though, Tony, because I fucking kind of like it, my friend. Right, make sure his gig's on, mate. Oh, yeah, get some light in there. Right, with the glasses on is how I prefer it. If this were my figure, I would probably keep it. Maybe hood up, maybe hood down, but glasses definitely on because I think they really suit the sculpt and I think it sort of complements the outfit that he's wearing. He's got sort of, a, like I said, a, an urban cool look about him. I think it's got like a real modern feel. Um... Maybe a little bit bulky on the sides of these glasses, but all in all, I think they do look really good. And then what I will do is, from there, I'll put a fade in, and we'll take the glasses off. And now, as you can see, his glasses are off, and I think it doesn't quite look as good, uh, in my humble opinion, simply because, and I've seen this with most of the Tony Stark head sculpts, they normally get the mouth right, but the eyes wrong, or the air right, but the the jaw wrong or the nose right and something else wrong they've never 100% nailed it I will say as well at this point that I feel that it's the same sculpt that comes with the workshop version and it's the same sculpt that comes with the gay cowboy version um, and that is a good sculpt it probably is the best around I would think I think the air looks really accurate but for me there's still something slightly off I don't know what it is I don't know if it looks old enough for Robert Downey Jr. as he is at the moment. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's the eyes or... I don't know if it's the eyes or the mouth, but I would think it might be the eyes because with the glasses on, I think it looks more like him. Um, but yeah, show you from a distance, show you around. It's not a bad sculpt by any stretch. And I will say as well also, the blood effect on it. I haven't checked the film to see if the blood is in the right places or any movie stills because I don't fucking care enough, to be honest. But for me, it sort of represents the scene well enough. And I will say the blood looks real enough and it looks wet enough and they haven't overdone it, which I think Optoys are doing pretty well at the moment. They're not killing it with a fucking fake looking blood. I think it looks really good. Same on the uh, DX13 Terminator. I think they got it just right. Some had said different. So, scores wise, to be honest, I'd marked it a four and I'm going to stick with that four because it is not perfect. I think, like I said, it is an improvement with the glasses on, but without it's still pretty good. If I were keeping it, like I said, the glasses would be on most of the time for me. But like I said, it, unless it's perfect, I can't give it a five and it just falls slightly short. Um, so I am going to give it a four out of five. One last look at the pose before we roll on to his outfit. Welcome back brothers, as you can see we're in darkness and I've done it for a very special reason. I've done it to show you his arc reactor and his palm, uh, his palm blaster, I can't remember the fucking name, you have to excuse me. just wanted to show you how it shines through his t-shirt and how beautiful it looks. I've got him semi changed, he's half Tony, half Iron Man and totally beautiful. But we're not going to get much detail if we carry on reviewing like this. So let's hit the big lies and then we can roll on. Right. As you can see, swapped out the pose, took off his hoodie, put the uh, 
left iron man leg on gone with the uh, the right iron man the mark 42 arm and then i've gone for the it sort of resembles the inside of the um, iron man helmet or the the hologram that uh, represents showing the helmet i will say it's really nicely done i like the clear sort of flexible um flimsy perspex of you it's a bit of a bastard to get the inner part in and in place with the uh, outer section but when it's on it does look really nice it gives off the uh, sort of the look that he is iron man or becoming iron man and sort of semi suited up i do like that about it i will say as well looking this uh, the light in this hand is not as bright as in the articulated hand uh, but for the pose i wanted it to have that um I wanted it to have that look this light on the chest is really bright there is a switch on his back which works perfectly I'll probably turn it off like so and that is part of the chest part of the body and probably the main reason they went for the muscle body so yeah the uh, leg swaps off really easily so does this arm basically just a magnet section in there so it'll just pop off really nicely and then he has like a stump sort of from the elbow down so yeah really well done but the outfit, like I said, I've included the sort of headwear and the change of arm. You've seen the hoodie when it ran before, but it is here. I will say, the hoodie does fit him nice, and I do like how the hood fits the head. But, I will say, if you remember, I bought a Peter Parker figure, or I customised a Peter Parker figure with my black suit Spider-Man, and it is very similar to that, although this one is a... Well, well mine is a zip through one. Can't really remember. Uh, the zip is working and on the inner sleeves there is a zip as well that do work but the material is very same as them third party hoodies so it's not amazing to be honest see the little uh, button motif at the top there it's good but not amazing you wouldn't you wouldn't go mental about it same with the t-shirt it does fit quite nice the collar does this dodgy thing where the material inside sort of keeps sort of folding back outside the neck i don't know if it's just on this one and all of them but it is a little bit of a pisser uh, i did actually tuck it in before i started rolling this section so there is that also every time i pose it and bring that leg up the velcro on his fly sort of pulls apart it's really weak velcro so that as well but uh all in all it's pretty nice not too intricate or amazing but good enough and a good representation of the uh, of the scene it comes from the sort of boots or eye tops or trainers whatever you want to call them they are sculpted it is quite a stiff sculpt so it does hinder the articulation a little bit uh, but i think they are done really nice and they look like some trainers i used to have actually used to have some nike trainers that were very similar to how they look but when the leg at trousers down but i digress with that the pose wise i've gone for sort of like the um the power pose sort of thing the arm out in front and then the leg curled up in front of him sort of leaping forward or just starting off into flight and just gone for that look really quite nice not amazing but it sort of showed everything i wanted to show the outfit all in all like i said it, i don't know it's not amazing material the tailoring's not fantastic it, it is what it is it's pretty much pants hoodie and a t-shirt all okay but nothing amazing so i've pretty much gone straight down the line like i said i've added these and these but i will be mainly scoring and the leg i will be scoring that when i do the uh, extras or accessories because i couldn't score them in two different categories but like i said because of uh, because it is part of something he wears i did include it with the outfit i will say as well that that light is going very dim very quickly so i'm gonna turn the bitch off so yeah, something to think about. There is batteries in it, and like I say, it's only been out of box here. So, and it's not been caned because it's just been stood on window, so we out that arm even on. I've basically just took the tag out of that arm so they don't stay bright for long. The glasses I've already showed you are a nice touch. Could be a little bit finer down the arms of the glasses, but I think they do bring out the head sculpt really nicely. So I have sort of took that into consideration a little bit, although I will include it on the extras as well. Uh the outfit, I feel a little bit tight, but I'm only going to give it a 3 out of 5 because it's, like I say, it's not amazing. It's not anything we haven't seen before. It is only the quality of a third-party 
uh, producer of clothes, so I can't go mental over it. Like I say, I think a three out of five is the sort of fairest I could give it. Right, rolling on to articulation, and I'll start off by saying, fucking, I, I don't know, pisses me off, to be honest. It's niggly as fuck. The reason for that is, it, it sort of like halfway goes into a position you want, but then there's little fucking niggly nitpicks with it, and for reasons I can't understand. Firstly, single joint elbow for a figure that most of the times we're wearing an hoodie. Why the fuck do it? I don't get it. I don't know. I know it comes with a t shirt so that you can see the fucking arc reactor through it. I know all that, but I think most of the time people are going to have the hoodie on, hood up, glasses on. So go for a double joint thing. You can't get his gun anywhere up here close enough. I don't know. When the magnet, the stump that's in there, you sort of have to take the hand off to reposition the elbow so you can do anything with it. Again, that's only a single joint, regardless which elbow unit you have in. Uh, I don't know, it just fucking rankles with me. It's bane all over again. Uh, I think the pose is okay, particularly the legs, because it would nearly get down to sort of the and to the floor but not quite and that's what I mean you think oh it's going to do it it's going to do it and then you get like fucking three centimetres off you think fuck her the way do it so um, yeah other thing it's fucking trow however you position his legs it's popping open that should be stronger or a prestor or summer that's pissing me off because you can look at a pose and you think yeah it's quite nice that and then straight away you're looking at that you think that shouldn't be open but it's fuck all you can do about it other than put hoodie on and cover it up so um, yeah that pisses me off and all but like i said front waist down it's pretty good arms dog shit body not really articulated it's pretty stiff feeling and that's obviously because it's got the light mechanism inside so i expected that the shoulders as well are really tight um they do move, but they are very tight. Uh, the head articulates quite nicely, but there's no joint at the lower neck. Uh, the One of the hands is articulated on the Iron Man hand. The other one isn't, because it's posed, so the hands spread kind of like that. Uh, the hands do use the bigger ball joints, so they do pop on and off quite nice. So, yeah, like I said before, slight inder on the ankle because of the boot. But, I don't know, I wanted it to be better, if I'm honest. I wanted it to be a straight up true type, just with added Iron Man bits on, but because of the fucking arms. Like I say, I know the aesthetic and everything, but I'd like to have a look round at some people's shots of this figure, and who actually do pose it with a tank top on, and who pose it with the hoodie on. Because I would probably go for sort of the hoodie on but slightly halfway unzipped so you could still see the top of that through it but that's just me but like i said I, I don't know i would have gone double joint elbow but they didn't i'm only going to give it a three because i didn't see any need for it like i said i do cut some figures some slack like a predator i would cut it some slack because i think the aesthetic is more worthy than the articulation to make the body look bad sort of thing but on a figure like this i struggle to cut it any slack because i don't see a reason for it so on the articulation i'm giving it only a three out of five right i'm gonna uh, give you the last pose and go through the accessories and also the value which is pretty much null and void because it didn't cost me anything so i'm gonna try and fly through i've gone to a pretty standard pose obviously He's got the shades on, which he brings. He's got the nice rucksack, which goes on really nice and will house most of the stuff inside there. What I haven't showed you, but I will talk about in a moment. Moving down, obviously, all his outfit and his standard shoes. Moving across here, the sort of holographic uh, head controls, which is like the inside of the helmet, so to speak, which I've had on in one of the earlier poses. This, which pretty much looks like a spray gun to me. I can't really remember what it is, if I'm honest, so a bit shit on my part there, but um, yeah. The Uzi, got the robotic arm with the two different hands. Obviously, that's the uh, articulated one. That's the posed one. Got the sort of electronic electric shock glove and a thing. Two pistol hands, the hand which holds the knife, which is inside there. 
that's the elbow joint with a magnet on end what that then fits onto really good idea a little bit niggly sometimes when you're posing it bag full of wrist joints the left leg which is a two part pretty much chuck his trousers inside there and then pop it onto the foot really nice then inside here all the other accessories that they bring so the folded up paper the bomb the knife um, just everything he uses I didn't take that out because I thought I don't want to risk losing them and they're not that important so the the uh, wristwatch I think it's supposed to be Dora the Explorer ain't film but brings all that standard stand and the booklet I will say I could never have marked it top scores although it brings a lot of stuff uh, pretty much some of the things are standard sort of your weapons and your hands things like that your wrist pegs and so on and so forth does bring a lot of other things i don't know if i'd use anything in there probably put it on the rucksack just to highlight the rucksack but i wouldn't i wouldn't really bump the score up too much for stuff like that i do like the iron man parts although it's not that much sort of thing um and like i said i would be reluctant to bump the score up because there's no extra head sculpt the base is just standard and there's not really a change of clothes you do have options as top on or top off sort of thing so um, on the extras I'm only going to give it a 4 out of 5, uh, which I think is pretty fair. It does have a lot of stuff, but you can't use it all at once sort of thing. That's the point I was trying to make. I do like the shades, I will say that. I think it improves the head sculpt. Moving on to the value. Obviously, I said at the beginning that Wyman sent me the figure, so it hasn't cost me anything. I think if I were looking to pick one up, I would be hoping to pay about 120 130 I don't, I ain't got a clue what it goes for because I didn't have any plans on buying it. If you paid anywhere around that, I think it's pretty good value for money. If you paid a lot more, I think you might have had a nightmare. If you paid somewhere around 100 I think you would be buzzing at that price. I think if somebody said to me, do you want a mechanic? And to you, you can have it for 100 quid. I'd be tempted, but anything more than that, it'd be a definite no from me. Um, so I've got to give the value straight down the line. I don't know what it costs. Anybody who's bought from Wyman might be able to post a comment. But, um, yeah, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Uh, so I give a 4 to extras, 3 to the value. Overall score is 21 and a possible 35. So it's sort of low-end score. But like I say, it was a figure that I weren't really buzzing for, but pleasantly surprised me. I think if I were asked to pick between this and the workshop one, I would pick this because the workshop one looks niggly for niggly's sake. And by that, I mean you get massive base, but no fucker can fit it nowhere. So I would go for this one. I know it's got the battle damage dead, which don't come with any more, any of the others. So you might be able to pop that off and put it onto one of your Iron Man figures. Uh, that would be a good idea. Because um, I do like the stuff that comes with it. it. It does give you options, but nothing about it makes me think, right, as soon as I've done this, I'm going onto eBay and I'm going to buy me one of these. It's, it's not that kind of vibe for me. I'm basically sick to fucking back tea for Iron Man anyway. And Tony Stark and fucking all the other characters we're getting, Captain America, and so on and so forth. I think fucking, I don't know, climb off fucking Marvel's dick, please, Hot Toys, for a minute. That's the way I've been looking at it. But like I said, thanks to Wyman for um, letting me see this figure. Thanks to you guys who have watched me review this figure. Thanks to the guys who were watching the review but didn't see the behind the scenes. These two videos, I would hope, will go hand in hand. Uh, just shows how Uncle Clipper works. Now, what I'm going to do is, that is the end of the filming on the camera, but if there's a way I can take sort of everything downstairs and carry on this transmission, I might go down and basically show you how I cut the video. I don't know, because I don't know how long I've been rolling. I've still got viewers, so people are watching it, but uh, like I say, it was a special idea. I hope you people like it, sort of get a look at it. I have obviously got to tidy this fucking bedroom back up at some point. Um... But, from the video's point of view, I just say, uh, give you one last look, from toe to head, and I just tell you, this is the Clipper King, thanks to Wyman, and I'm out of here.